you from Lumpology.com and welcome back. I'd like to keep this tutorial as short as possible, so anyways, let's get into it. This is how to make an MMO in Blender Part 2. Long time put off, I'm really sorry about that, but um, let's get into it. Okay, um, I made a few changes to the the main MMO file, just nothing, unimportant things. I added some ju added something like a jump function into the game. Um, just very, very simple things that don't really matter that much. But, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, that done and aside, let us get into it a bit. Um, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go to our version of Blender 2.72b, and we're going to need to start the Blender.exe. I would then reopen it and start another one. What we're going to do is we're going to open three instances of Blender 2.72, just to be safe. So what we're going to do on this first one is we're going to build the host. So if I go to Blender Game and I go drag up this, make this the logic panel, drag it. It's a little bit more difficult to drag windows on my Wacom, but um, yes. Okay, um, so. As you can see here, we have the installed multiplayer as usual. I'm just going to delete everything in the scene. Shift A and empty plane axis. Shift A, add a camera, control Alt 0 to bring it to the display. We can leave the settings out here at default. They don't really matter. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to select our empty and we're just going to say installed multiplayer. So what with this little thing here on the add-on, I'm going to say host game, and that will do it. Now down here, we must remember from our last instance, I'm just going to reopen the MMO instance here. This is our server port. We're hosting on the server address localhost, and the server port is 1201. So basically all we're going to, to do is put that into here. Now we get to choose the player limit. I usually choose something like 110. 10 is reasonable. Blender could probably handle tons more depending on the size of your game. I don't actually know. I haven't done a full um, stress test, mostly because I haven't had enough computers to do that. Um, it's tricky. I'm getting a new box soon, so I'll be throwing that in and making an epically powerful computer. Anyways, um, let's do this. So, the timeout... Uh, five seconds is probably better than nothing. So let's just do that, and we have our basic host. This should suffice. All we need to do is go file, save, and uh, put it in the same location. Let's see, D Academy Tuts, and we're just gonna call this <laughs> MMO host. Let's roll, save the blender file, and the host is up. So we're just going to open the MMO instance again. So let's get into it. So how is it going to work is we're going to start our host. The host is what we're going to run. Most people don't know it, but um, this is how hosts work in the computer. I will get into port forwarding and stuff like that in the next um, part 3. Uh, there will be a part 3, yes. Part 3 could take some time. I am a little new to servers. I'll probably have to start up my Linux uh, my own Linux box and see what I can do with it. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, let's start this. Okay, first cube is out. A bit that way. Oops, did not mean to do that. Play the game. Okay. See this red cube? That is our other player. So, as you can see, I'm going with the controls. And it's working out. It's working out well. So basically, yeah, uh, that this is how we send them over a network. Now, because of the player limit, um, sorry, oh yeah, that flash thing is actually just something that I added in as an effect, so you can sort of see the color. It's just something I like to do occasionally in games. It's kind of cool. But anyways, um, now if I leave and quickly hop over to the other one. This will vanish in a few seconds because of the timeout, and there it's gone. Alright, so that's the host. That was surprisingly simple. So, 
now you can start to work on your games. One thing I would advise doing is, uh, when, if you want to make something like uh, FPS multiplayer, what you do is you send your player over the network, and all the animations of your player will be run on your player too. So your player will be sent with player two, and I won't show texture networking. That's a bit more tricky because it requires downloading a texture from the server. I'll get into that maybe someday. But anyways, um, swords. I would advise also sending over a network saying like if you scroll through your inventory to the sword, it adds the sword in, and that's also being sent over a network because you can do more than one of these play games. So like. I will get into most of the stuff in another episode. I'm stressed for time right now, so I will guarantee you part three is coming. But anyways, that is an MMO in Blender. The very beginnings. If you want to work with just on this and do some experimenting, good for you. But this will just have to do me for now. I'd like to keep this upload time as short as possible, so without further ado, that was how to make an MMO in Blender Part 2 using Blender 2.72b. You cannot go any higher than that, remember this. Um, yeah. Um, that should be it for now, so we'll get into it in the next part. I'm Coder Heidi, I will see you later in the next uh, video. Could be anytime soon, I don't know. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, it, it would really help me out a lot. Um, and share this video so that other people can see how to do this kind of stuff, because there aren't a lot of tutorials out there for this kind of thing. I'll make part three on going a little more in-depth into this. So, without further ado, see you later. Goodbye.